we have solved those minor problems of security. Now it means if we go to classes and wait a minute, this will be access denied, right? Hmm. Okay, so that's another thing here to keep in mind. Um, the student has classes which they can see. So what we will do instead is this. Let's go to, instead of restricting them on single class completely. So let's put this access on student, shall we? Let me move this. Click. Okay, now we have access. So instead what we can do is go to tests themselves and just remove the, um, this whole thing if it's a student. At least maybe they can see the students, maybe not the lecturers, it's up to you, but you can hide what you want. I want to hide this whole thing. So what I'll do is get this auth access here, copy, and let me go to the single class view. So let's go down to single class. That's, uh, where are we? Single class view, yes. So right here where it shows me the class tests, mm -hmm. instead of the test add, you can do all those things here as well. So here I will put that if statement, and if not lecturer, so it's lecturer and above, if you're not a lecturer, then you're not eligible. So we'll put an else statement here. And instead, we'll put the access denied version of things. So access denied. So the one for including has the hyphen and the other one for the controller for the whole page has the oopsie, what's going on? Uh, tests. Yes, not access lecturer. Oh, sorry. If lecturer, then we go to the test. Otherwise, access denied. Okay, you don't have permission to this content. Goody. So if I come here, click there, I have that. Now, instead of even showing this whole thing, we can just completely eliminate it uh, from view if you're not a lecturer. So we can do that by uh, putting that as well on the link itself. So I could put that like this and do that. And then we limit access like so. Oopsie, what have I done? What have I done? It should be end if like so. And here, let's do that. Yep that fixes the problem okay that way if i come here uh, in case i access the link i'll get access denied but otherwise i won't even see it at all if i am not a lecturer and above so this is how you can hide individual tabs depending on the user that is on it okay also we don't want students adding lecturers and stuff because I am a student and I don't need to add and edit these things. So in the same uh, token, we can do the same thing. So as you can see here, it's rather easy to do. So I'm just going to copy all of this. Um, this is for students and here this is for adding a test, right? So all I need to do is paste that like so. And then I move this into there and remove this other one. Okay, so come down here, editing a test as well. So adding a test shouldn't be something allowed for a student at all. If I click add new, oh, this is for adding lecturer. Let's go there first, a lecturer add like this. Then let's move this guy up here. So you can just do this for all of these guys here, one at a time, just take your time and make sure you allocate proper security here. So just like with adding lecturers, now if I click on add, I get access denied. Okay, then I can completely remove the button as well because yeah, I don't need a student to see that button 
after I have restricted access. So to clear out that button, you have to go to the, this is in the class test tab, which we've restricted access already. So, oh, is it though? So lecturers tab, yeah, add new. Mm -hmm. So we go to the lecturers tab, which is uh, class tab lecturers right here. So that's um, class tab lecturers. And there's add new and there's remove here. So right here, we don't need to show any of this. And let me remove all that. So if lecturer, right? So let's put those PHP tags to good use like this and then close those tags right there. And if, okay. Right, so as you can see, this is how you can go about adding your security. Now those buttons are gone. If I am a student, maybe I can see what who, which lecturers have access or if you want, you can just remove so that when I'm a student, I only see students. And also, I shouldn't be able to add or edit students either. So in that same token, I can hide those buttons as well. But before I hide the buttons, I have to restrict access to the pages themselves. So we can go back here and do that restriction. Uh, this is test add. So all this you can going through uh, this lecturer add. Let's see the student add. So student add right here. Let's add some restriction here on this one. And let's move that up. And let's remove that other one. Oops. Uh, student add, yes. Let me remove this one that isn't from here. Student add. So if I now refresh, wait a minute. Students add, otherwise access denied. What is this? This is student add. Uh -huh. Okay, I think this one isn't working. What's working is the... Um, um, wait, what's going on here? What tab is this? I am now confused. Select is equal to true. Student add. Okay. So the reason this is uh, not not working like this better is because we went to um, where is this single class right? Uh, single class. We have a uh, lecture add. Let's go to student add. Where is this? Student add. So what view are we getting down here? That's the single class. Okay. Single class view right here, which is this one. So then what is the problem? Ah, so there's two of these. Students add with an S. I have no idea why we have this. And then we have student add with a single S. That was probably a mistake on my part. So let's move this up like so. And let's re delete that one. Sorry there. So I'm just trying to show you how to make sure that uh, you have some security and then you can remove the buttons. So you can do the same for remove. Hide the access here, first of all. Student add, student remove. So let's hide the access here as well. And then let's move this guy up here. Like this, okay. And let's refresh, access denied. Then we can remove the buttons finally. So if I now go to remove those buttons, those buttons are where we are viewing the student, not on student add, just on the students. And this is the one, class tab students. So all I need to do is find it here, class tab students. Where is that? There we go. And then it has these buttons right here. So I can uh, paste this and uh, put the correct syntax here, like so, full colon, 
like that. And then let's put that end if again and close things. Okay, that way the buttons are not there. And even if they do click the link somehow, they won't have access. Okay, so at least you see what's going on here. Actually, I just think I should hide the whole lecture as thing here because a uh, student, so let me hide this lecture as thingy here. Let's put access denied. Shouldn't be able to see the lecturers, how many lecturers have access here. That could be privileged information. Let me come back here and refresh. So access denied. So we are only here, here it's access denied. But then it's even better off to just uh, hide this, which one? It's this one here. So copy that and let me put it right here. That's the if statement for that one. Copy this. Let me put them a little bit more orderly. Like that. Okay, so take your time and go through these things here and make sure you give the proper access where need be. So when I'm a student, I just see the students section in a class, that's it. I see my fellow students, I can move forward and back and that's about it. That will enhance security. And then I still have access to my tests, which I can take here, which is all good. And then I have access to my profile where I have the tests and I know my class is here. And so I can click to go to a class. Uh, this was taking me to the, um, yeah, you have access denied here, but tab should be students, right? Let me come back here. Uh, this section for the profile, let's go to the profile right quick before I forget here. And, um, the correct tab here. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, this one. This is the classes view. So um, let's go to profile view and the tab I'm looking for is classes. Wait, is it? Yes, classes. So classes here, that's profile tab classes. So where is profile tab classes? There we go. So that's the one right here. And I want these classes. So where is classes? There we go, classes ink. And right here is where the button is, which is this one, okay? So I want this to default to students. So I can just put question mark and say tab is equal to students. This way, um, let me refresh. If I click on this class, it takes me to students. That's why that way I don't get that access denied thing because I know that everyone can access students. So at least that's much better. All right, so hopefully uh, this wasn't too confusing or anything like that. We're just giving access to proper places. And uh, I will see you in the next video where we finish up with uh, taking tests. All right, I'll see you then.